Right, so this is the guitar synth. Right here, this one. And this is the expression pedal. So, um, at the moment I've got it on um, a mini sequencer setting. So basically you've got your different types of synth. So sequencer, there's two, se two groups of sequencers, 11 of each. Um, special effects, which is some weird stuff. Again, two groups of those, so 11 of each, 22. Um, bell synths, organs, um, string synth, bass synth, pads, and two leads. Two sets of leads, so 22 lead sounds. Um, excuse the amp I'm using, like, it's just the power here is a mess. But, um, so over the back here, this is my dirty channel. So essentially, uh, I run a multi effects, have been running them into a tube amp. Uh, this thing's like a JCM. Um, so I've got it set up as the dirty channel on a JCM driven hard. Um, this is the expression pedal for this. And this is the Boss SY1. So, A pedal sets tap tempo or tone, does a pitch sweep, depending on the setting you're doing on this knob or this knob. Um, you've also got tone or rate control here and you've got um, depth of modulation on that. They're coaxial pots. Likewise over here, I've got the guitar split to a separate channel and then back into a two channel monitor wedge down below the camera. Um, so the guitar synth is clean. There's no effects on it. So what you're going to hear is basically what it sounds like. So that affects either modulation or tap tempo. And it's not like one, two, three, four. It's one, two, it's one, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four, one. Um, so basically that's going to take a bit of getting used to. Um, I also have tap tempo on my drum machine, which I'm planning to put all this together with. The drum machine's um, an SR18 from Alessis. It is basically a drum machine and a bass line. So I will also have bass effects and stuff like that and a bass amplifier simulator using my multi effects for that. Ultimately, the plan is to put together a live show to do like this on a video into YouTube, into Facebook. But first of all, what I want to show you is this expression pedal. So if I go to a lead, Thank you. 
So if this were down on the floor, I'd be able to just basically play a lead over my own chords. Um, the sequencer effects are just bloody amazing. They really are. Um, bring that little back up a bit. Um, <laughs> forgiving it's not as forgiving as I've said in some of the uh, review videos I've seen but um, I tell you what I am a lazy practicer and it's showing at the moment if you listen to what I'm playing on the guitar plus I'm also trying to concentrate on talking to you but um, it, it, I've never had a guitar synth that could handle me after three four five six months of not practicing and i haven't practiced since the heart attack really i've noodled a bit on my acoustics um so this is just uh incredible this this really is not the booby prize i've been looking at the sy 300 which is the big one it's kind of like a pedal board in its own right um if i you know like i've got a, a reverb pedal coming that's a stereo reverb, a little Behringer thing with spring and plate and all of that kind of selection. A uh, bit of that on there and the warmth will just be incredible. Um, plus this also has an effects loop. So you can send out to a bunch of effects and drop them back in. Um, I, I just boggle at the idea of one of these, one of these plus a looper plus a drum machine synchronized to the looper. And yes, loopers do that now. Um, so, you know, basically this, this is, this whole rig here is a third of the price of the SY300 and almost as versatile. The only thing is you kind of have to squat down and set your settings between songs it's probably not as flexible as a live instrument but this is worth the 300 australian i paid for it with this on top of it um just incredible absolutely incredible anyway um just give you a bit of a sample of the bases. that 
Well, I, well actually, I'm struggling to hear it. And if we go to, oh, that was a pad, sorry, that wasn't a bass. <laughs> Um, and my other favourite, because I've been a Deep Purple fan all of my life. Oh, John Lord. Oh, God, I wish I'd learned keys. Um... <laughs> Hexaphonic pickup anywhere to be seen. None. It's coming straight off the jack. Straight into the splitter. Straight round into input. Straight out of output. Straight into the amp. It's polyphonic and it doesn't have a hexaphonic pickup for 300 bucks. That's all, folks. <laughs>